After the first incident, the world was haunted. Assemble your team of ghosts and bring this world to salvation. Atoll, the last ghost. Uh... Team. It's a guy. Items. It's an energy drink. Damn, I need that right now. Investigate. Can you see me? Drown girl. A far ghost. Talk. It seems that the ghost is not yet ready to cooperate. Attacker for no reason. Attacker again. You have completely destroyed the ghost. Her existence is forever erased from the face of all planes of existence. Perhaps this is the best outcome for her. Not what I meant to do, but okay. Investigate. Found energy drink. Investigate again. Oh, another energy drink. More. There doesn't seem to be anything else here. One more time. Alrighty then. Investigate. You didn't find anything. I have to try again. There's definitely something here. An energy drink. <laughs> Nothing. Gotta do it again. An energy drink. <laughs> Again! Oh, an energy drink. One more- Oh, God! Sometimes it's better just to talk. I found ghosts. I'm so tired. For many years now, I have existed in this forest. I remember the first time I was in the woods. My mother and I were walking along narrow paths. And a calm voice completely immersed me in the atmosphere of the forest. I spent the rest of my life trying to be as close to the forest as possible. I worked in the sawmills. I was a firefighter. I was a forest ranger. In all those happy years, I couldn't have been happier. When I died, I asked to be buried in the wood where my mother and I used to walk. It was not the, bright, the brightest idea. Well, ever since then, I can't leave this land. I know the height of every blade of grass, how many leaves are on every tree. Please, take me with you! <laughs> Please, I'm so sick and tired of the forest. I miss television. I miss watching my dramas. Oh, gosh. I thought this would be peaceful, but this forest is evil. Invisible gate. There's nothing else here. Okay, well, I'm leaving then. Whoa, a table. Crazy. Invisible gate. I found a flashlight. Look at my team. My team is wild. I got an old lady ghost. Nothing else here. Let's go. Oh, yay, a tunnel. I found a go-go ghost energy bar. And an energy drink. My guy is gonna be so... wired. <laughs> what is... What even is... Sleep? I wouldn't know, ha ha ha. Oh, doggy! Talk to the doggy. The ghost finds in you the traits of his previous master. You have a vague sense that he was a samurai. Ghost dog joined your team. Get out of here, old lady. When do you make space? <laughs> no. Put the doggy at the top. Barking dogs never bite, but this dog doesn't make a sound. The ghost I met in the woods. Apparently he was cursed because of his obsession with the forest. Poor guy never even had a real family, just his forest. It me. I'm a guy. This is my father. He died in 19... Oh. 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 What? What? I thought that was me. I thought that guy was me. Not my dad. I can't believe I have a father. It was a car accident. The doctor said he talked about his family despite all the suffering he was going through at that moment. He promised to always look out for me and so he did and... I, I wish... I wish he'd just go to sleep. 
Like, bro, I'm 45 now. It's okay. Energy drink. I say it's okay, but, uh, I... T Dad is very concerned that... Stop coughing in my ear! Jesus Christ! Sometimes a fight can't be avoided. Unborn twins. I... Die? <laughs> what? You guys, you were supposed to back me up! What? Dad! So, I'm guessing ghost armor is my health. <laughs> I didn't really think about it. I'm kind of upset that you kind of just have to kick this girl's ass. But, that's just how it be sometime. Bye. I'm gonna go find my energy drinks now. Oh, no more energy drink. I don't nearly have as much energy drink as last time. Bogus. That's super lame. Well, my dog. I'm gonna. T <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, so mad. I didn't even find any energy drink this time. I only get five for that. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I hate this. Everything is terrible. Oh, energy drink. <laughs> oh, how much does a go go ghost board give me? With the addition of special herbs to enhance contact with the world of ghosts, the production of these bars began immediately after the discovery of the first ghost by a famous blogger. Yummy. Helps restore communication with the other world. I might as well refill all the way. Mm, I want my doggy. There's definitely oh, oh, oh. Dog, 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 Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh. Everything's good and grand again. Everything's fine. Why do I have 20 of 40 attack? Evil spirit. Coughs in my ear like a little bastard. I win. Energy drink. Wow. And it's still coughing in my ear. Love it. It keeps dropping all of their energy bars. Was there like a truck that fell over or something? This is endless. Bro, leave me alone. I'm busy picking up energy drink. You guys are so annoying. Dad, can you make them stop? I thought you were supposed to protect me. Whoa, I love energy drink. Dude. Is this him? Is this just energy drink? Please. Oh my god! It was funny until this point and now I don't... Bro, come on! There's definitely something here he says as he picks up 5,000 energy drinks. 
stepping out of this stupid fucking sewer so I could listen to the rustling of the woods. The old man didn't want to be back here, but I need a moment. <laughs> I need a moment. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Just coughing in my face. <laughs> Take a fucking lotion, dude. It's just gonna pop. <sighs> you get like tinnitus. <laughs> We're going to pretend that the first half of this video doesn't exist because I am very good at game and not dumb whatsoever. <laughs> anyway, so because of like the comments and the fact that uh, the game page definitely implies that there is an ending to this and that is perfectly fine. Uh, I, after I recorded the first half, decided to try again twice. So the first time I went in, I went, no, I can't do this. Nothing is happening. And then the second time I, I was just like, I, ha I need to figure this out. And I did. I did figure it out. <laughs> so we're going to try again. And we're going to do better <laughs> this time. I didn't realize I could click things. Like, I could click the image. <sighs> it would have been so helpful if I knew. It's an old abandoned house. I should take a look around. So, okay. Investigate. Didn't find anything at our try again. Energy drink. I found a ghost. Oh, I just realized that I unmute the tab. Can you see me? It seems that the ghost is not yet ready to cooperate. So I attack her and then I talk again. Oh no. Together would be even stronger. There doesn't seem to be anything here. The ghost of a girl I discovered in an abandoned cabin. According to the ghost, she had drowned herself from unrequainted love. And then we also have Dad. This is Dad. He died in 1996 when I was very young in a car accident. The doctor said he talked about his family despite all the suffering he was going through at the moment. He promised to always look out for me, and so he did. So anyway, I didn't realize, for some reason, I was completely blind to this button, and I never clicked it. I only ever went forward. But we're going to go forward again to grab some stuff, and as well as our uh, teammates. Forest. It gives me a vague sense of unease. I feel as if someone is watching me from behind the tree trunks. Someone's abandoned camp. After the incident, there are a lot of them all over the country. After the incident. Flashlight. Nothing else. The subway tunnels have been out of service for a long time, but someone is still keeping the lights on in some sections of track. Maybe it's a person, maybe it's a ghost who can't be bothered to do his job. <laughs> Damn, still working. Either way, it's a dangerous place. I need to be careful, though maybe I can find more allies here. It is an endless system of tunnels in which there can be both useful items and dangerous enemies. Explore this area for as long as you like, but know that it has no end. Which would have been really nice to know when I went through the first time. So, yeah, I'm gonna collect uh, a bunch of stuff and... I think the dog is here, so I'm going to get the dog, and then we'll go to the new areas. 
Okay, here's the new place. I got like 16 of each item. I, I think that's good enough for now. <laughs> Maybe I could go back or I might find some more. But anyways, this is new stuff. A new area that I didn't know existed. <laughs> this is an abandoned laboratory. This is where the first incident happened. The incident. I have to be as careful as possible and think about every decision I make. Before I can move on, I need to clear this area of evil spirits. I remember the first day I saw my father. I couldn't believe my eyes. He just walked right out of the wall and stood there smiling. I was scared, but in time I got used to it, as if he was a part of my life again and had never died. I've heard that- I wish the audio didn't- wasn't so prolonged. <laughs> I've heard that people who spend a long time with their ghosts end up becoming ghosts themselves. I don't think I'm in danger of that, but even if I am, will I realize that anything has changed? It's time to end it. The number of evil spirits is increasing. People are living in poverty and fear. I know how to stop it all. Oh, yeah. Energy bar. But can I? Many people before me have di have tried, and possibly died, and I've heard that one by one everyone made it to the final spot sooner or later, but something stopped them at the last moment. My work here is done. There's no one else left besides. I have to move on. Whoa. The city destroyed by the first incident. Here are all my memories, my hopes, my failures, everything I was once so attached to, now just a desert of endless shadows. People who cannot be distinguished from ghosts and ghosts who cannot be distinguished from people. How do we know not, we're not a ghost now? This city has asked me all my life to give everything I have and has never given me anything in return. Today I must make my final sacrifice here. That's it. The last line. Here is the main ghostly vortex. I have to sacrifice all my ghosts to close it, and then there will be no more ghosts. The world will finally go back to the way it was before. However, I have my doubts. Oh, that's why everyone stopped. Because they don't want to sacrifice their... I looked at the members of my squad. After all they've been through, after all the misadventures in life and after death, that's what they deserve? To be destroyed by some all-consuming black hole, and for what? What would be left in the world without ghosts? We will rebuild our homes, our labs, until one day someone decides to open the door to the nether world again. And so it will be. The world goes in a spiral, and we are all trapped in this labyrinth of repetitive events. No. I refuse to live in a world without ghosts. After all, it's the only way I can spend time with my father again. Mankind will somehow cope with itself. It always has. And if not, and everyone dies, then the last man on earth will truly be the last ghost. Let's go, father. Let's go, dad. We will live in a society who will eventually will all turn into ghosts. And it will be slightly awkward. Anyways, it's time to go sacrifice everyone. <laughs> One by one, my ghosts sink into a black vortex in the middle of the city. Their faces express unbearable longing and sadness as the vortex tears their matter to pieces. The remains of my father's ghost body 
are gradually being devoured by the vortex. He turns around one last time and looks at me. In his gaze, I read real fatherly love. Obviously, he's proud of me. He smiles, and in that same second, the vortex erases the last remnants of his face. The tunnel is closed. No more evil spirits. No ghosts. I feel the wind on my face, and with it, the serene emptiness surrounding me. In this scorched city, the last ghost remains. Goodbye, Father. Bro. This is why no one sacrificed. This is why the tunnel was never closed. Because everybody said, fuck that. These ghosts, they're my friends. They're my friends and family now. I'm not going to do this. I don't care if the world is consumed. I'm strong. I eat go-go bars all the time. I drink monster energy drink and eat go go bar every single time. And doctor said nothing's wrong with me. So it don't matter. I fight as many evil spirit as I want and replenish in the way that makes my body strong and and immortal <laughs> and not awful and sickly. Because Coco Bar. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Only issue I have is... A, well, minor issue is the sometimes the text overlays on itself. I did come across the old man not being in the forest. He was in the tunnel. And it was really weird. Because <laughs> he's like, I've been in... Or old lady, I can't remember. <laughs> No, it's an old man, right? Whatever, it doesn't matter. It's just an old person. I've been in this forest all my life. Um, this is the, like, the train tunnel or whatever. I, how'd you get all the way over here? Uh, the major issue is the evil spirits coughing and the, tinnitus noise in my left ear. <laughs> I wish that was like cut short or you know not there. I don't mind the coughing I just wish it was cut short once the the battle was done but the the tinnitus noise could have either been like less or just not there at all. Like I feel bad for anyone who has like the tinnitus stuff like way worse. Uh, I kind of wish we got to um to know the the ghosts a little more instead of just getting like flavor text or um I think the only one who actually really said anything more outside of flavor text was the forest old person. They pretty much, like, info-dump their story on us. <laughs> then we didn't get to really hang out with her dad. If you never even bothered to look at Team or, like, look at his picture, you wouldn't even know that it was your dad. Because <laughs> in the first half, I thought it was just us. I Because no normally when you have, like, a Team thing, it shows your picture. Dad's just hanging out, helping us fight ghosts and stuff. Why would I sacrifice everyone into the frickin' nether portal that we don't even know would work? Dad and me can just hang out, have fun, play poker or whatever. I'm not sure how much he can interact with anything, though. We can play Go Fish, but then I'm going to have to, like, I have to set up a little thing, like, with Scrabble, and I put his cards there, and then I just have to hover, and he has to tell me which one I can take. It's a little sad we can't, but we can't play, like, War or something. <laughs> Hmm. 
dad looks at me with disapproval as I once again down another go-go bar <laughs> and not eat real food. I'm sorry, dad. I know he judges me for eating the thing that I found in the fucking <laughs> trash tunnel. <laughs> it's free food, Dad. The world is a mess. Because of the incident. <laughs> anyway, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope you completely forget that I'm bad at game. And that you will write into your memories that, oh... V is very good at game. She know how to play a game real good. She not dumb at all. <laughs> yeah. Have a good day and a good night. And I'll see you in anything else. Bye bye <laughs>